Thank you. Mr. Brown, now please. Dear uh, Mrs. President, dear colleagues, uh, dear commissioners, the digital age we live in today permeates our daily lives and even more so our children's lives. And can we accept that algorithms created by international corporations decide on what we can say and read online, what human rights defenders can say, what dissidents and whistleblowers can publish. Do you know that um, YouTube's filters suppressed a parliamentary debate on torture because they confused it with violence online? Many constitutions ban ex ante censorship, and it is high time we take back control and do the same with censorship machines used by digital platforms. Secondly, let's tackle the predominant business model of surveillance capitalism. Major platforms are tracking our every click, everything we read and write online to analyze our personalities, our likes, our weaknesses, our illnesses. We cannot accept this permanent surveillance of users online and therefore we need to make sure that we are not subject to pervasive tracking. Likewise, the right to anonymity is essential to uh, safeguard uh, our identity online and prevent abuses and data losses and sales. And finally, let's address the gated communities on the internet. Let's make sure consumers can choose which platform to use to ensure competition and to ensure interaction across platforms to break the dependency and the user lock-in that is predominant on the internet. Let's make sure we take back control of our digital lives. And let me add one aspect regarding the AI reports. There is some mention here on biometric surveillance that has nothing to do with the report on AI and IPR protection. And let's make sure that we do not confuse um, artificial intelligence with surveillance. These language on biometric surveillance needs to be deleted. Thank you very much.